Resale Rabbit here at the Sunny Flea Market in Houston, Texas with Alan Mendoza. Let's see what we'll find. Round one at the flea market, I didn't buy much, but it was very profitable. Starting out, we've got Wii Fit Plus, always good to throw in with a board. I got NCAA Basketball 10, I can get like a, or $35 after fees, it's like a $45 game. Tecmo Super Bowl, the price actually dropped quite a bit on that, it's like $16.99 is the lowest. I priced it at $40 to wait out Christmas. This Xbox wireless receiver worth about $40, $45, uh, and that's before fees. I paid $17 for these four items here from one booth. Next thing I got is a Motorola uh, modem. It's actually a gateway modem where it's both the router and the modem itself. If you look up that model number, you'll see it's going for about $100 FBA, so I was about $70 in my pocket after fees. And lastly, I got a first generation iPod Nano. It's in good condition. It looks like the screen's cracked, but it really isn't. It's just scratches. But it really doesn't matter because it's up for a warranty claim. All I need to do is make sure it powers on and I send it into uh, Amazon. If it didn't power on, I would send it to Apple and wait three to six weeks, however long it takes, and get a brand new one. For more information about their warranty claims, you can go to resellrabbit.com where I've got an article written up about that and the Beats pill. I also got one other thing. Let's go check it out. I also got, for $5, a Flavor Wave. These things are worth about 200 bucks used. Wow, am I getting red. It's a hot day out. Uh, the guy I bought it from thought it was a popcorn maker. He wanted 10, I bargained down to 5. They go for about 200 so after fees, it's a pretty big and heavy item, probably about 150 or so. Not bad. I'm back for more! Day 2 at the flea market. If you can't tell, it's like a hundred degrees here. I don't like it. Someone was even kind enough to put a nice little dinger in my door. I guess the parking was too close for him. Let's go take a look at what I got. I got some pretty cool stuff. Day two. For $12, I get these four items. The remote in the middle is worth about $15. The Harmony remote on the left is currently worth about $45. However, it's considered hazmat. If I can get that waived, I will be the only FBA seller. I'll price it at $100. The one on the right isn't a Harmony remote. It's a brand that I have never heard of. Marantz or Marantz. Uh, that's actually a hundred dollar remote, believe it or not. Uh, took a little bit of cleaning, but I got those three remotes along with this $40 micro cassette recorder for 
I'm actually from the same person that I bought uh, that hundred dollars worth of games from yesterday. I spent twenty dollars on this blue Nintendo Game Boy Advance SP worth about forty, and I got Wii Fit Plus from the same guy for five bucks. I spent four dollars on the Simpsons uh, NES game worth about fifteen, twelve to fifteen dollars if I remember right after fees. I got another one of these. I actually picked one up in Alabama and just sent it in this morning. I spent $20 on it. This one's in much better condition, worth about $120. And here's the fun part. Vintage games. Now, notice the prices. I haven't taken the price tags off. I negotiated him down to $60 for all five of those. It's $12 each. Some of them, like Star Fox or Rampage, or maybe it's Banjo-Kazooie, I don't remember. Two of the games, I don't make much on. I make $5 profit on, I make $8 profit on. But the other three, I make quite a bit more on. In fact, Mario Party, I believe, I will be making $40 profit on. It's actually about $128 is what I'll net on all of these games. So spending $60, I'll do a little bit more than double my money.